Today on Building the X-Hat, I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up your Mazda Miata turbo oil and coolant lines. Now, first off, I'd like to ask you guys if you wanna stay up to date on my X-Hat build, and if you wanna get a lot of the cool tip videos that I do like this one, please hit the red subscribe button down below. All right, so my previous video, I showed you guys all the different adapters, hose sizes, everything like that you needed to make AM fitting and lines for your turbocharger. Uh, mainly a Chinese turbocharger, but for your turbocharger on your Miata or your X set. This video, I'm gonna show you the lines that I have made from those fittings and how to install them. All right, so we're gonna dive right into it. Basically, I'm gonna break this down into four parts, two parts for each of the turbo lines and two parts for each of the coolant lines. So let's get right into it, starting with the oil feed line. Okay, so obviously since we are uh, dealing with oil and coolant lines, we need to drain the oil and the coolant out of our engine before doing any of the work. I already have my coolant drains because I had to move a couple lines when I was doing some turbo work. I do need to get under the car right now and get the oil out. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my oil filter sandwich plate. Basically this uh, spaces the oil filter off and then uh, this goes around it. This plugs in here, then the oil filter screws onto this side and there's a gasket on the other side for going against the, not the block, but that uh, plate, uh, the oil heater plate or whatever the coolant ring that goes around it is. So basically this has four different uh, nipples here, or four, four ports here I should say. Three of them I'm going to take these plugs that, that came with the kit and insert them in into the uh, adapter plate here uh, to plug them. The fourth one here is going to go like this and it is actually going to uh, be for my oil feed port so that will get the oil pressure uh, to the turbo off of this port and to the other side of the engine. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and basically get uh, Get these four ports, uh, three of them blocked off and one of them with this input. And then we'll go ahead and get this on the car. All right, so now I got this puppy ready. I got my oil feed port here and the other three blocked off. We're ready to go get the sucker on the car. Okay, so now we got the oil filter sandwich on. We are ready to install the oil feed line. What I have here is basically a, a 48 inch, uh, four foot long dash 4AN line. And this will go from the top oil feed port in the turbo to the nipple on the oil feed sandwich. Okay, so that does it for the oil feed line. Got it connected up to the turbocharger and also to the oil filter sandwich. Now it's time to move on to the oil drain line. Okay, so the turbo drain line is probably the easiest line. Uh, here's mine all made up. I made it uh, to custom length. It's probably about 12 to 14 inches long in total from end to end. Uh, I just have like a 45 degree hose end going to a, uh, another straight hose end. Uh, this is a dash 10 AM line and basically just hooks up to the flange kit on the bottom of the turbo, attaches to the fitting in the oil pan.
Okay, so now we're on to the coolant lines. Uh, basically, these ones are going to be a little trickier because there's a little more to them. Uh, I chose to basically tap in behind the head. Uh, there's a little nipple coming off the uh, back of the head there for my coolant line. And then I'm going to actually do my return down into the mixing valve. Maybe it's the other way around, but I think that's, I got that right. Uh, how I'm going to attach those 5 16 inch tubes that I'm tapping off of is using these uh, compression fittings. Now basically what these are is they have a little ferrule in here. They're just like a plumbing fitting would be. And this ferrule goes around the pipe and then uh, these two pieces basically come together and compress the ferrule and uh, you know compress it to the tube so it does not leak. So uh, I gotta actually cut off the ends of both of those nipples with a saw as there's a little barb on there and I can't have that. I have to cut those off, sand them down smooth and then I have to put these compression fittings on first, and then we will get to, once I got both these on, then we'll get to making the AN lines for hooking up to the turbo. Alright, so now that I got those two fittings on, the compression fittings tightened down, ready to go, now basically it's just time I gotta make my hoses. Uh, basically make them out of uh, Dash 6 an stainless steel line, or st uh, stainless braided line, and then I have uh, three 90 degree Dash 6 an hose ends, and one straight hose end. I'll show you which hose they go on, let me go get these hoses made up, and I'll be right back and we'll put the hoses on the car. Alright, so I got my hoses all made up. Basically, now it's time to get them on the car. Uh, I'm going to start off here first with doing the return line, and then we're going to head over and do the feed line. Okay, so now I have all the coolant lines connected and oil lines connected. So basically we're done with the project. Next step is to go ahead and get the car started up and running and go through and check for oil leaks. I actually started my car for the first time here since I built my turbo exhaust. So it was kind of nice to have the turbo all plumbed up. I was able to actually hear how the exhaust sounded, uh, which is pretty cool. It just got a couple revs on it, nothing great. but. Went around, checked for all the oil lines for leaks, all the coolant lines for leaks, making sure that everything was sealed up properly and no leaks or issues like that that were occurring. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Once again, please hit like or subscribe down below if you appreciate these videos. I will see you in the next one.